Owning a radio during the war made listening to American music easier. Popular songs were able to be heard by both soldiers and civilians. Songs that were about militaristic and patriotic were rejected by the public, while songs about romance, strengthening, and re recluding the Axis powers were more on the top hits. The songs directed to the Axis powers were strictly bashing on Hitler and oh, Navis were the civilians. Swing... What, what was what was on the radio during wartime? There is a lot of music that they would back in the era of World War II. In Europe, music spread like crazy. German Germany went from four to so what? Sixteen million ra radios of in a castle. Music was appropriated for numerous war-related tasks. Music sounded everywhere in the war, not only in its live manifestations, but also through recordings and radio. Swing and Boogie Woogie entertained civilians at home and GI station aboard. Music at the time was a citizen's way to keep their spirits high. Their loved one was fighting with freedom. The music gave an insight of what was going on in the outside world. Jazz was a popular genre worldwide. Alton Britain released there a star sing Star Spangled Banner waving somewhere in 1942 to reassure families who had lost loved ones in the world roar that a flag would always fly in their honor. There were also songs of love and wanting to reunite with their loved ones. Imagine no line. Form these flat feet kept them from military service. So he joined the Blackpool Home Guard as a dispatch rider and began an extensive series of troop concerts. First to visit the British Expeditionary Force in Normandy in 1940. He eventually toured the front lines of North Africa, Malta, Sicily, Gibraltar and Italy, and was in Normandy less than a week after D-Day. The Andrews Sisters, Boogie Boogie Bugle Boy and Company B, 1941, specializing in swing and boogie woogie. Their ultra-close sibling harmony was featured in more than 600 songs and sold 75 to 100 million records. This is an excerpt from the Abbott and Costello film, Buck Privates, 1941. The lyrics of the song, a renowned Chicago, Illinois, street musician is drafted into the U.S. Army. Arthur Eski, Kiss Me Goodnight, Sergeant Major, 1939, Sergeant Major, a British soldier's song, mocking their officers, Kiss Me Goodnight, Sergeant Major, is a World War II soldier's song. Route 16,962, the final line is, Sergeant Major, be a mother to me. The song is normally credited to Art Noel and Don Pelosi in 1939. Dooley Wilson, As Time Goes By, 1942, rumor has it, As Time Goes By, was nearly cut from the movie, which was released only a few weeks after the Allied invasion of North Africa and the capture of Casablanca. When the lights go on again, all over the world is a popular song composed during World War II. The first recording by Von Monroe reached number one on the charts in 1943. The song expresses the hopes for an end to the war. The title is from the refrain found throughout the song as he is found in the first verse. When the lights go on again. Glenn Miller, In the Mood, 1941, arranged by Joe Garland and Andy Razaf just before the war. This song was based on a melody called Tar Paper Stomp, In the Mood, remained a big hit for Miller for the duration of the war. Most of the songs from an instrument of blatant propaganda or as a means of entertainment, recuperation, and uplift music pervaded homes and concert halls, army camps, and government buildings. 
Hospitals and factories swing and boogie-woogie entertained civilians at home and GIs stationed abroad.